Hello. It's good to see you. Today we are back with a wide variety of items that I just picked up at Aldi. Lovely little things. This wasn't a big shopping trip, but I did pick up a few things here that we needed and a few things that I just thought looked yummy or interesting. And I want to show them to you today. Now, like always, I start with the crinkliest items first. I try to do those first. That way, you know, you get further into the video and you don't start to drift off and go to sleep and then there's a loud noise. I try to avoid that because I know that's annoying. <laughs> so let's see. A lot of these things we've seen before many times, but not all of them. I'll start with this right here. Now this is an item that I have not purchased at Aldi for a while, but it looked good. I thought this would be a nice snack here and, and they're very good. These are sunflower kernels and they are roasted from Southern, Glo Southern Grove. That's an Aldi brand. They have all kinds of different nuts and trail mixes and things like that. These are very good. You can also get these salted. Personally, I prefer the ones that are not salted. Um, to me, the salted ones, are, they're a little too salty. These aren't salted at all. And the nice thing about this bag too that I really like is that it has this reclosable zipper seal up here. You can't really see it. It's hidden in this lovely blue material and it has sun, the word sunflower on it all over the place and kernels and sunflower kernels. It's the same blue that they have on their loaves of white bread from Love and Fresh. It's very pretty. Up at the top above the zipper seal, you're going to see a notch here and here. And you can just pull this top part off. And then after you get out all the sunflower kernels you like, you can just close it. You just press the zipper seal along here and it seals it off. And you don't have to worry about them getting, you know, kind of stale. And you don't have to find a different container to put them in, which is nice. This is a 16 ounce bag. You get a whole pound of sunflower kernels and they're very inexpensive. I don't remember the exact price, but it's, I think it's a very reasonable price for these sunflower kernels and they are the roasted kind. Okay. Crinkly. Now this is definitely crinkly. This is something we haven't bought in a while. We have Clancy's corn chips. Now corn chips is a weird thing around here. Um, everyone here likes them, but we all have a limit. Like we only want them every now and then. And these are wonderful. Clancy's is another Aldi brand that you're gonna see on a lot of snack foods like chips, uh, tortilla chips, potato chips, things like that. Um, these are, these corn chips are original. It's a regular flavor and they taste just like Fritos corn chips. I mean, identical. I can't tell the difference at all. The big difference you will see though is the price. Now at my Aldi, you can get this 9.25 ounce bag of Clancy's original corn chips for only 65 cents. This big bag and occasionally they will have the big corn chips like the scoops and they actually have them right now on the seasonal food aisle and they are not much more than these in fact they might be the same price but i think it's a larger bag so it may be more but this is only 65 cents at my aldi anyway and if you don't know what corn chips look like there's a little opening here it looks like a smile look at it. it's like it's smiling at you and you can see your little corn chips in there now it does look like the bag is only half full. I don't know if you can see with the sun shining through it, but I can from over here. Um, it looks like this is empty, but that's because they settle, you know, corn chips kind of uh, contract down like they, they, it's like not really like Tetris, but like they just kind of get all concentrated down here at the bottom. But that is 9.25 ounces, but the product often settles during shipment and that happens with cereals as well. So these are Clancy's original corn chips. They also have, um, I think they have barbecue flavor. I'm not a big fan of those, but I do like the original ones and I'll eat them just out of the bag like that. 
I think they're great. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is definitely crinkly. Now these crackers are from Savor It's. Up here in this corner, you can kind of see the name Savor It's up here in black. It's the black background with the white script and it says Savor It's. You see these on a lot of the boxes of crackers and things that they have like their version of Keebler Townhouse crackers. I believe theirs are called Clubhouse crackers. They're really good, but those are also Savor It's. These are soup and oyster crackers with no saturated fat and no cholesterol, which is very lovely. Um, these are just, they're just little oyster crackers. These packages are 10 ounces and at my Aldi, they're only 79 cents, which is fantastic. Um, I love them in soup. My younger son loves to just eat them as a snack. He would just sit and eat oyster crackers by themselves. <laughs> with a glass of milk or something like that. But they're really good. They're, I find them to be not as light and fluffy as regular saltine crackers. They're a little more um, dense, I guess, but they're, they're really good. I love them in tomato soup. That's the way I, I, I love them the best that way. <laughs> All right, we have a Bing thing back here. I'm gonna show you that. I found this on the Isle of Shame today. I can't wait to try it. Ooh, look at this. Now these are from Love and Fresh, which is just like, um, you know, the bread that we buy. It has the LF logo on it here, and they have a little stalk of wheat that makes the hash mark for the F. These are Hawaiian sweet rolls, and they are so good. Oh my gosh. They are really yummy, and they're very inexpensive. This was, um, this was elected one of the favorites, one of the customer favorites of Aldi, and they are so good. They're, they're nice and they're kind of chewy. They have that nice sweetness to them. I love the packaging. Look at the pretty blue, this light blue around the border here. Oh, and we have some little flowers. They're kind of like my necklace, <laughs> except my necklace is blue. And my necklace actually has a rhinestone in the middle. <laughs> There's no rhinestone here, but that's okay. And ooh, look at the border up here. This is so pretty. It has orange and then teal in it. That is a beautiful, beautiful border. And it has the brown up here and the little LF logo. That's really pretty. It's kind of hard to see because it's crimped together with the plastic piece here. But it's very pretty. I love, I love everything about the packaging. It's, it's so pretty and you have another flower here. In this package, you're going to get 12 Hawaiian rolls from Love and & Fresh. And they are about, I'd say they're probably half the price of the brand name Hawaiian rolls in the grocery stores here. But to me, they taste exactly the same, maybe even a little better, and they're half the price. So you really can't beat that. <laughs> And here, here's another thing. I got to thinking about Fig Newtons the other day and I just could not get them out of my mind. I think I think the subject came up in a video I made. I think I mentioned the uh, Little Debbie makes the little fig bars and they're so good. I haven't had any in years. I haven't even thought about them, but I kept thinking about Fig Newtons and I thought, you know what? I want some, I want some fig bars. So I picked up some Benton's fig bars. These are chewy fruit filled cookies and they're made with real fruit. This is a 14 ounce container of fig bars and they were very inexpensive. Again, where you're going to find, but this is my experience with most items at Aldi, especially the Aldi brands and ben Benton's is an Aldi brand that you're going to see on a lot of cookies and little things like these fig bars. What I find is that these are usually about 40 to 50% cheaper than the brand name items in regular stores. And 
most of the things in my experience, in my opinion, are just as good as the brand names, sometimes even better. Not everything, but a lot of things. Some of the things, in my opinion, that just for my taste um, aren't as good would be the canned concentrated soup. It's, to me, it's okay, but it's not as good as Campbell's. And their paper towels are okay. Um, their, bold, their brand is Boulder for paper products. Their paper towels are okay, but they're not as good as Bounty. I keep going back to Bounty. I, I, I'll pay more for a paper towel that I like. But things like this, the little fig bars, they're wonderful. They're so tasty. I love them. And they're about, these are about half the price of brand name Fig Newtons. And I really can't tell, I can't tell a difference in the taste at all. The only, the only drawback though, with these packages, they are not resealable. These are, some of their cookies are resealable. These are not, but it's no big deal. I will just take a little plastic container, like one of my reusable plastic containers and I'll just pop them in there. It's no big deal. And you know, once all the fig bars are gone, I just wash it and put away, put it away. It's, 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 it's not even a minor inconvenience, but I don't know that the brand name fig Newtons are resealable. They may be, but I don't know, but they don't taste any better than the Bentons. Okay. Oh, Now this is an item that we use a lot here. I got this mainly for myself this time though. This is Love & Fresh Classic White Bread. Now this in my Aldi is only 55 cents for this 20 ounce loaf of white bread. I got this because I'm gonna go back to the farmer's market later and get some more tomatoes. I'm, I love, I love tomato sandwiches and I've got my older son eating them now. He's discovered he likes tomato sandwiches. <laughs> he doesn't make them exactly like mine, but he's discovered that he likes the tomatoes from the farmer's market. So, but I will probably, I will probably be eating most of this, um, for tomato sandwiches and I would eat one for lunch and one later at dinner time because right now you can get really good tomatoes at the farmer's market. They're so delicious. Um, so I'm going to go get some later and I, I only use white bread for tomato sandwiches. It's just it, any other kind just doesn't taste, doesn't taste as good. So you have your love and fresh. Now, just like the Hawaiian rolls, you're going to see the little logo right here, the LF with the little stalk of wheat for the, for the hash mark on the F classic white bread. Now, unlike the Unlike the Hawaiian rolls, we have a little twist tie on here instead of the plastic piece that holds it closed. And you're gonna see this beautiful blue. Look at that beautiful. It's about the same shade of blue as the blue on the Sunflower Kernels bag. Beautiful dark blue. And it has a dark brown band going around it. So it's I think this is one of the best deals at Aldi. You can get a whole loaf of bread for 55 cents. It's fantastic. You can't beat that. And it's good too. Okay. I think that's um, most of the crinkly stuff except for this right here. Now this is Priano. Pri or, I'm probably saying it wrong. I apologize if I am. Priano is another Aldi brand and you know that by reading you can see the product information on the back, that it is distributed and sold exclusively by Aldi. This product was made in Italy. And on the Aldi products, you'll see this little blue circle, usually on the back of the item, where it will mention their twice as nice guarantee, right here. And there it is on this item. Um, now the twice as nice guarantee is, is fantastic. Say you buy this item at Aldi and you try it and you don't like it, all you have to do, take this back to the store. They won't even ask for a receipt. Take it back to the store, tell them you didn't like it. They will give you your money back for the item and they will give you a, a comparable item for free. 
which is, it's to me, I think it's a wonderful deal. So if you're kind of curious about an item at Aldi and you sort of want to try it, but you're not sure, you really can't lose. If you don't like it, you just let them know and they will give you your money back and give you a comparable item for free, just for your trouble. So you really can't lose. Now this item here, and it even has a little red circle here where it tells you that it's imported from Italy. This is a four cheese risotto, naturally flavored, authentic Italian. Now I love stuff like this to go just, I like to keep options open for side dishes for things. For example, if I want to make some pork chops, which I was kind of thinking about doing, I think this would be really good to serve with pork chops, maybe this in a little side salad of some sort. Um, maybe cut up some of my, my tomatoes from the farmer's market and have those too. Just, I like to just eat them just as they are. Put a little salt on them, just cut them up and salt them. It's really good. So, but this is a great little thing. It's not expensive. Um, you can just stick this in your cap, in your cabinet or your pantry and it's gonna, it'll be right there for you anytime you need it. It's very easy to make. And on the back, they're gonna give you instructions for stovetop preparation or microwave, whichever you prefer. And it's really quick and easy to make, and it's really good. So if you're running out of ideas for um, side dishes or things to go with your meal, they have tons of stuff at Aldi. And I'm going to show you a few more things that I have here because I wanted to kind of replenish my stock of side dish items like that in the cabinet. <laughs> now the next item, this is another Priano item. This is cheese tortellini, premium pasta made with ricotta and assorted seasoned cheeses. And you can see that it's it's vacuum sealed. It doesn't have to go in the refrigerator. Um, you can keep this out. Um, it's made with high quality ingredients. This one is also imported from Italy. Uh, try serving with marinara sauce and a sprinkle of Parmesan cheese. I'm going to show you what I like to serve it with in a minute. But this is an 8.8 .8 ounce container of cheese tortellini from Priano. You do have to cook it thoroughly, but it's, it's really yummy. It's really quick and easy to make. Now with this, and this is a nice quick meal, you can have this by itself. You could have it with some garlic bread or some of your favorite vegetables or whatever kind of side dish you want to have with it. Or you, like I said, you can just eat it by itself. Now you can, I have had this with marinara sauce. Personally, I prefer this right here. Now this is also Priano. This is also imported from Italy. This is one of the sauces from Aldi that still comes in a glass jar. A lot of them now come in a plastic jar. This one still comes in glass. It has the little metal lid on it. This is a four cheese sauce and it's so good. It is a bit more expensive than just their basic spaghetti sauces and marinara sauces. Their basic spaghetti and marinara sauces are about 85 cents. This one I think was $1.49, which still is, I think that's a great deal for a 24 ounce jar of sauce. And again, if I were gonna get the brand name in a grocery store, it would be at least twice that. I mean, it would be, you know, three, it would be upwards of $3 easily. But this four cheese sauce, I find, goes really well with the cheese tortellini. It's really good. So yeah, this is going to be used with the tortellini. So I'm looking forward to that one. Okay. I have bananas right at my elbow. Bananas. Everyone here except for me is sick of bananas. I think I'm the only one eating them right now. So the, these are Del Monte. I think most of the bananas at Aldi are from Del Monte. They're only 43 cents per pound, and you know, they're good. I like them, but right now I think I'm the only one eating them. <laughs> yeah, they're awesome. They also have organic bananas if you're interested, but to be honest, I don't eat them fast enough. I never eat them fast enough. They always go bad before I can eat the organic ones. 
So I get the ones that are probably going to give me eyebrow cancer or something. Those are the ones I buy most of the time. Oh, I forgot this. I picked up an interesting little treat from the bake shop. I've never bought one of these at Aldi before, I don't think. I think I got an apple pie there one time and a pumpkin pie, but not an, a, a cherry pie. This is a cherry pie. It's uh, one pound, eight ounces of cherry yummy goodness. And these cherry pies are only $3.49. I couldn't make this for $3.49. I couldn't. I couldn't get the materials and make this for that price. I don't know how they do it. But it looks delicious. Doesn't it look good? When I was there today, they had cherry pies. Um, they had some big apple pies. I mean, they were gigantic apple pies. They were, f those were only $4.99 and they were big. They had some brownies. Oh, and they had these little cupcakes. Um, red, white, and blue cupcakes for Independence Day, which is coming up. All kinds of goodies. Oh, and they had these really good looking cinnamon rolls, powdered donuts. Oh, just all kinds of goodies. I went ahead and got just a cherry pie because I wanted something a little different. Um, so yeah, you can see it has this nice pretty crust and they cut the little slits in it so you can see and so it can vent while it cooks and you can see the, the red cherry filling in there. And we have little pictures of cherries on here on this sticker in case you don't know what cherries look like. And here you can see the pretty pie itself. It's, I bet it's really good. And next we have some specially selected soups. Now these are not like the concentrated soups that you have to add water to. Um, these you just heat them up and eat them. This is slow cooked tomato and sweet basil soup. That look good. And I believe you just take the seal off and microwave it. And they do have the twice as nice guarantee, although here it's not in a blue circle, it's just basically in parentheses. Um, I think I have tried this before, but it was a while ago. And normally I don't really want soup this time of year, but I just, I don't know, it just looked kind of good. I was going down that aisle and I was looking at it and I just thought, you know what? I may not want it right now, but it would be nice to have this in the cabinet as an option if I decide I want some tomato and basil soup. Maybe I can use my oyster crackers with it. And I also picked up this one. Now I haven't had any potato soup in a bit. This is also from Specially Selected. That is, um, that's an Aldi brand. It's usually, it's like their gourmet version of things. It's like, ex it's extra fancy and it has the black label and everything. This is slow cooked baked potato soup with bacon. And you can see some of the little bits in it there. This is a 15.5 ounce container and the other one is two. And it has this little lid on it and you're just gonna pop that off. And there's, here you can see sticking out, there's a little plastic seal that you pull off and then you heat it up. And it's, I don't know that I've tried this kind. I have had other potato soup from Aldi and it was really good. So I'm gonna try this baked potato with bacon, specially selected fancy soup. <laughs> Normally, I just eat Campbell's soup that you add water to. I don't get fancy with it. And next, this is another specially selected item. This also comes in a glass jar, like the, uh, the four cheese sauce. This is specially selected premium strawberry fruit spread. It's made with 75% fruit. We don't know what the other 25% is, but we probably don't want to know. Just focus on the 75% fruit. That's the best part. This is really good stuff. Um, it's, it's more expensive than just, than just the regular strawberry jam, but it's really good. It has a, a really nice flavor to it, and I find it's not as sweet and syrupy as the regular strawberry jam, probably because it has more fruit in it and less um, sugar in it. But um, you have about 14 servings in this lovely little jar. They have different flavors too. They have um, blackberry and raspberry. 
I don't know if they have a blueberry or not, but I really like the strawberry. So it's really good on toast. Every now and then I would toast my bagel in the morning and put a little bit of that on there. And the next item is from Appleton Farms. Now the only item I know of at Aldi that has the Appleton Farms name on it is this this fully cooked bacon. There may be other items, but I'm not I'm not familiar with them. This bacon has smoke flavor added to it. It never looks this pretty out of the package, but then again, that's true of any pre-cooked bacon that I see. Now this this is a lot cheaper though than any pre-cooked bacon you're going to get in it in the grocery store. You get 12 slices in here and it's at my Aldi, it's $2.55. And see, so you could you could uh, make take pieces and put it in a salad. Um, sometimes I will use this, especially if I'm going to have some good tomatoes. I'll make a BLT, get some lettuce, and slice up some tomatoes. For a BLT, though, I toast the bread. Like it looks like this bread is a little toasted. I toast the bread first, and then do like they did here with the tomato and the lettuce, and then put bacon on it. It's really good. It's so yummy. But yeah, it's only $2.55, and it's been that price for a long time at my Aldi, which is not bad for fully cooked bacon, because a lot of times I like bacon, but I don't like cooking it. I don't like the mess. Even if you make it on a pan in the oven, you still have all that grease and everything, and I just don't like dealing with it. And I also kind of thought about making some sweet and sour chicken one day soon. So from Fuja. Asian inspirations. I picked up this sweet and sour Asian Asian sauce. So it says right there. This is another Aldi brand. We have back here it tells you that it's distributed and sold exclusively by Aldi and it has the little twice as nice guarantee on it there. This is a 14.5 ounce glass jar of sweet and sour sauce and I I'm not going to fry anything. I'm just honestly, I may just put the chicken in a crock pot with this and see how it turns out. Like cut it up and put it in there. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to give it a shot. <laughs> just something different. And at my Aldi, you can get grits. Now these grits are from Millville which is another Aldi brand. Millville, you're going to see on a lot of breakfast items like cereal or pancake mix, syrup, things like that. This is grits. Grits are made from white hominy corn that's dried up and ground, ground up. It's dried and ground up. And um, you boil it. I think quick grits, you boil for five minutes. Yeah, cooks in five minutes. There are different types of grits. I don't mind quick grits. I like the ones that you have to boil longer, the old-fashioned grits, but they do take a lot longer. They take about 20 minutes to cook. And you have to keep stirring them or they'll stick. Um, this is a 24-ounce container of grits, and you get a lot of servings out of that. You really don't need a lot to make a serving because it kind of fluffs up as you boil it. So I picked up some grits. Now, Everybody eats grits differently. I do not put sugar in my grits. I don't understand that. I put salt and butter in it, and that's it. Um, but you can add anything you want to it. You know, it's it's good. However you like it, that's the best way to make it. Now, here is another item that I've mentioned before. This is a popular one here. Now, this item is from Cheese Club. They are shells and cheese original. It's like the Velveeta Shells and Cheese Dinner, but at Aldi, these are, they range anywhere from 99 cents to $1.25 per box, which is cheaper than Velveeta, but to me it tastes just as good. I can't really tell a difference. It's really good. Um, I think right now they're $1.25 for this 12 ounce box of Shells and Cheese, and this is the kind that comes with the pouch of the, the cheese. It's not the powder, but it's that kind of gelatinous looking cheese. It's not real cheese at all, but I don't care. It's really good. So you just boil your, your noodle, your pasta here and drain it and then put it in a bowl and mix in the cheese while the noodles are hot and it just melts that cheese all over everything. That is a family favorite around here. Actually, one time I bought some regular Velveeta 
I was at, in a different store somewhere and I picked up Velveeta. They didn't like it. <laughs> they said, we want the kind you normally get. That's not what you normally get. They like that kind better. And it, yeah, so that was fine with me because the shells and cheese from Aldi is about half the price. Another item we have is also from Millville. These are crunchy granola bars. Now these are like the nature's, who is it, nature's choice or nature's own uh, granola bars. Yeah, these are fantastic. I love these. These are the crunchy kind. They're not the chewy ones. I remember when these first became available when I was a kid. Oh, I thought they were so good. My mom would buy them occasionally. They have no artificial flavors or high fructose corn syrup. No certified synthetic colors or synthetic preservatives. And they're made with 100% whole grain. This box becomes a dispenser when you're ready to open it. You have a little tab right here. And you pull that back and you pull it all the way down to here and you tear it here. And then you're going to have an opening right here. And you can just use that. The box becomes a dispenser and you can just take your little bars out of there. You have granola bars. Now you're going to get 12 granola bars in here. They come in packs of two. So you're going to have six packs of two in here. Like that. Probably two, two, two. Like that. And they're, they're yummy. I just, I love them. They're just plain. They don't have any extra stuff in them. It's just a crunchy granola bar. And the next item I have is, it's basically the same thing, but it's a little bit different here. These are chewy granola bars here. They're also from Millville. These are sweet and salty nut granola bars. They're also made with 100% whole grain oats. And they have cashews in them. They also have an extra cool thing. They are dipped in cashew butter coating down here at the bottom. So you get that extra little cashew taste in the cashew butter coating along the bottom of the granola bar. Isn't that neat? Now you don't get 12 in here. You only get six, but they're a little thicker. The, the crunchy ones are thinner. And they have little bits of cashew in them, which is really awesome. So that's a nice little thing here. And this one also has no high fructose corn syrup and no certified synthetic colors or synthetic preservatives. So those are great. It's a nice little snack in the middle of the day to keep you going. Now I also picked up talking about side dishes. I picked, I picked up a few more things that really kind of go with just about anything. From Earthly Grains, we have several items. We have three things from them, I believe, yes. This is long grain and wild rice in a mix. It's the original flavor. They have several different flavors. I think they have Parmesan, um, garlic, um, maybe chicken or something. But this is just the original. And it's so easy to make. They give you stovetop instructions and microwave instructions. And it's not too bad for you, and it's really easy to make. And you can add things to this if you want to. You could add some, you know, maybe some grilled vegetables or grilled chicken or something like that. Or you could just leave it like it is and just eat it like that. It's a nice, inexpensive little side dish. And now here's something I haven't had in a while. This is Earthly Grains Couscous Mix. And it's the Parmesan flavor. They have different flavors of this too. It's really easy. It cooks in only five minutes. And it's nice and filling. And just like the long grain and wild rice, we have these stovetop instructions and microwave right down here. And it's, it's really quick and simple. You know, if you've prepared a meal and then you realize this isn't really enough, I need something to go with it, you know, you could just take this out in just a few minutes, have it ready to serve. A little bit of couscous with car uh, Parmesan flavor to it from Earthly Grains. Now, usually the Earthly Grains name you're going to see on grains, like they have quinoa, they have couscous, they have multiple types of rice that you can get, and it's all pretty good. Every bit of it I've tried is, is really good. 
And the last item from Earthly Grains that I have is this Long Grain and Wild Rice Mix. Now this one is roasted vegetable and chicken flavor. So it's not just the original flavor, you have the roasted chicken and uh, roasted vegetable and chicken flavor in here. And uh, it also has stovetop and microwave instructions on it. Really quick and easy to make. Um, it's something that we all kind of like and we can all agree on. And you can, honestly, I've made this before and just eaten it just by itself. <laughs> Like, I, that could be, I would eat that for lunch. I really would. I don't know if I'd eat the whole thing, but I'd eat at least half of it. This fell over. I wanted to show you this. Now, there's not, there's not a lot of really cool stuff on the Isle of Shame this week. There is that, bar, that barbecue per, pergola. They do have that. But I spotted this, and this looked interesting. Now, we make a lot of frozen pizzas here. I still say the best frozen pizza I've ever tried was at Lidl and that is how you pronounce it here I have to say that every time I did clarify it with the company Lidl they have this self rising uh, crust pepperoni pizza it is so good it is so incredibly good and it's big it's about as big as this thing and they're only two dollars and eighty five cents each and there's it's the best frozen pizza I've ever tried in my life and I've tried them all, and it is the best. But so we make a lot of pizza here. And I do have a pizza pan, but I kind of thought I would try this. This is a cook and cut pizza set. You cook on the mat, which I guess this is the mat right here that you cook it on, right here. And you cut it and serve it on this board back here. It's a flexible, like a big cutting board basically. And uh, I have a big plate that I put our pizzas on when I cook them, but this is a lot easier to work with than that giant plate. Um, so I'm going to try this. It's BPA free and dishwasher safe. It's a reusable silicone mat. Oh, okay. It prevents the pizza from sticking to the oven rack. I don't understand that thing anyway. Most frozen pizzas, pizzas tell you to put it right on the rack. That's horrible. You're going to make such a mess in your oven if you do that. I've, I don't do that. I always put them on a pan. I, I can't, no, I can't, ugh, just the thought of putting it right on that rack in there. No, I don't care if it does make it crunchy or whatever. I'm not doing it. But I would just put it on this, kind of like the pizza pan I have now. I think actually my pizza pan was a Crofton that I got at Aldi a while back. But Crofton is an Aldi brand that you're going to see on a lot of cooking implements like this thing here the mat and the little cutting board thing and they had them in different colors this one is kind of red and black they also had i think dark gray maybe a dark blue and black like this but i like the red one so i got this it's safe up to 450 degrees fahrenheit the silicone mat helps crisp your pizza crust and it's plenty big enough for the pizzas that we make. So I think it was $6.99 for both for this set here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot. My pizza pan, I've been using it for so long and it's, it's starting to look kind of sad. <laughs> and I picked up some Simply Nature crackers. These are peppercorn brown rice crackers. They are gluten-free and vegan, if you're interested in that. They have a lot of things that are gluten-free and vegan. If you look around the store, it's all over. Now, these are from Simply Nature. That's another Aldi brand, and you're going to see that a lot on items that are non-GMO, or they're just, they don't have a lot of added ingredients and stuff. These are great. Um, these are really, I like these crackers with Monterey Jack cheese and apple slices eat it together it's really good and you have that the uh, peppercorn you have that nice peppery flavor with it as well now this box is 4.25 ounces and it doesn't sound like a lot but these crackers are very lightweight so you can actually get a lot of crackers for you know 4.25 ounces so I did get that but I realized after I got home, I forgot cheese. And this isn't all I get um, in the refrigerator. I have some pre-made salads. Um, I got some chicken breast, 
got some cottage cheese, gallon of milk. I mean, I don't have all that out here. This is stuff that doesn't have to stay in the refrigerator. And this is something I've started eating every morning instead of my bagel. I have done away with my bagel habit. This is Fit and Active, which is another Aldi brand that you'll see a lot on lower calorie food. I guess stuff that's supposed to be better for you somehow. This is Vitality Cereal with red berries. And it says that you can compare it to Special K red berries. Honestly, I think it tastes better. Uh, the, the flakes in this to me taste better than Special K. And it's heart healthy. You can get an 11.2 ounce box for only $1.99 at my Aldi. Of course, the prices vary depending on where you are. But it's really good. I really like it. I eat it in the morning just dry. I'll just eat this dry. I don't like to put milk in my cereal. Um, it's very filling. It has a pretty good amount of fiber in it. Um, it's just, it's, and it tastes good too. So I like it. And I also had to pick up a box of saltine crackers. My younger son loves these. Now these are also from Savorites, like the oyster crackers. This box is a pound, 16 ounces, and it's only 75 cents at my Aldi for four sleeves of saltine crackers. And they're good too. And I, I mean, I'm not picky about the brand of saltines. I mean, they're all kind of the same anyway. So I think they're good. Um, typically, if I'm having soup, these are the ones I use. Um, unless I just have a special hankering for the oyster crackers. Because I find that the saltines, they're not as dense. And they don't stay as hard and crunchy, which is kind of weird in the soup after a while. Um, yeah, so I like those. I don't really eat them so much this time of year, but my younger son likes them. And finally... I picked up from Lunch Buddies some cinnamon applesauce. This is an excellent source of vitamin C and it's made with 100% real fruit. They, I was looking for the kind that was strawberry flavored. Uh, they have cinnamon applesauce, regular applesauce, and strawberry applesauce. The strawberry one is really good. But today all they had was regular and cinnamon. So I went ahead and just got the cinnamon applesauce. You have six individual little containers here, which is great for a little snack. I mainly got these for myself. Um, my kids don't like applesauce as much. They'll eat it. They don't really like it that much. Every now and then, though, I want just a little bit. Just, just a little. I don't want a whole can of applesauce. I just want a little. So these are perfect for that. I can just pop these in the refrigerator. And they're right there for me whenever I want one. Just if I want one to go with my lunch or whatever. I have six of them in here. And this is only a dollar. I think it was a dollar forty-nine in my Aldi for these six from Lunch Buddies. And Lunch Buddies also makes little containers of fruit. Like you can get peaches or mixed fruit or pears, uh, mandarin orange slices, all kinds of things. And I buy a lot more of that stuff during the school year for my kids if they want to take their lunch to school. Little things like this are perfect to go. They could just pop it in their lunch box and go. So that is the last thing that I had to show you today. We got a lot of good things, I think. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed getting to see everything today. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you again soon.